My name is Father Danny Murphy, and I am the pastor at St. Savior's Church in Park Slope, Brooklyn. In 1986, I was privileged to be part of the Mets family. I was the so-called chaplain of the Mets. It wasn't an official position. They don't list chaplain as one of the uh, positions, but that's the role I played. I was the spiritual uh, director or counselor or source for, for the players and also for the front office and even for those who worked at Shea Stadium in concessions and tickets and things such as that. Every Sunday the, the Mets were home, which was always 13 Sundays. I didn't realize that that's how the schedule uh, always plays out. They, they're home 13 Sundays. So for those 13 Sundays that we were home, I did say Mass each of those 13 Sundays. And they would allow me to go on some road trips as well. And when I was on the road, we would say Mass in the hotel where we were staying. So at Shea it was in the Jets locker room, which is adjacent to the Mets locker room. We wouldn't intrude upon the Mets because not everyone's Catholic. But right next door was the Jets. In fact, you didn't have to walk out, there was a connecting door. And then in the hotel, we would just spread the word that for those interested, Catholic Mass will be in this room at this time. And who uh, in the 86 team came to Mass pretty regularly? Sid Fernandez, Jesse Orozco, uh, our uh, shortstop Rafael Santana, Wally Backman, uh, Danny Heap, Rusty Staub, uh, oh, Tim Tuffle. In all honesty, my years with the Mets were glory years. In fact, accumulatively, in the eight seasons I was with them, we won more games than any team in baseball, either league. I was close with Keith Hernandez, I was close with Ron Darling, I was close with Bobby Ojeda, who not play-by-play, play but he does the pregame. Uh, I was very close to the late, great Bob Murphy and Ralph Kaina. They were like, they were like brothers. Now, so, so other players, well, Sid Fernandez, we were close, Jesse Orozco, we, we were close. A rusty star, very close. Eddie Lynch, now Eddie Lynch, to his misfortune, was traded in early of 86, so he didn't have the championship, but he was on the 86 team, but then was traded to the Cubs. 